Hello folks, this is Jay Austin. This is not an unboxing video as titled, but it's close to it. I made a re video recently of this, uh, this uh, cutoff saw, uh, and it was at night. It was poor quality. My kids were asleep. I was trying to do it and not bother nobody or have any interruptions, and it really just sucked. It's one of my first videos, so uh, trying to make up for that. And if this one turns out okay, I'll delete the other one, or I'll leave it up there and laugh at it in a year or two. Anyway, back to the tool this is a drill master 120 volt two inch bench top cutoff saw it's a very small saw as you can see very small it has a two inch steel blade it's a really fine blade i've used him a lot but only on wood i don't do metal i have seen other youtubers use him on metal he seemed to work fine the trick with this thing is to go slow i've been doing some uh test cuts with him i really don't use him i bought him for something uh a project i do and he didn't work because uh, my stock was too thick. So I was going to uh, post a, a, a critical uh, Harbor Freight bench top cutoff saw review. But as I was boxing him up, getting ready to take him back to the store, I saw that. And realized it cuts to depth of half an inch. Well, my stock is over half an inch. Three quarters. Seven eighths of an inch. Seven eighths of an inch. A little more. Um... So that's not fair. Uh, he'd still cut it, I just had to flip him over. I could bring him down to the half inch and flip him over, line him up and flip him over. I didn't want to do that because I'm, I'm not that good at eyeing, eyeballing cuts and I didn't want to cut, uh, make the wrong cut. So I don't use him for that. So now here's the question. Do I write a critical review and say it doesn't work? Or do I admit I just bought the wrong tool and I'm using it for the wrong thing? Uh, let's face it, and this is some of the objects, some of the things I make, just some of the small things I make. Um, some of these could be used for him because the, the stock is small enough. He's really thin, so he could have worked, but all these are done by hand. I just eventually want to do something uh, with uh, electrical tools because I want to go faster. So this is what I'm using right now, but I want to change that in the very near future. So, didn't take this guy back because he's a cool little saw. I like him a lot. I love small little tools. I think they're neat. Uh, he has a purpose. We've used him for several other small projects. My kids love to use him. And I can't believe the blade is still going because they've been abusing him lately. And he's still pretty sharp. I had to do a couple of test runs to make sure he could cut before I made this video. So uh, I'm going to show you real quick him in action and then we'll go from there. First things first, always wear your PPE, your personal protection equipment. Eye protection, ear protection, gloves. I'm not going to get close to it, so I'm not wearing gloves. Now you see, he went down half an inch. Fine. Flip him over. Line him up. Hard to do this one-handed. Eyeball it. And let's see. Back on. Good. There you go, see, now the cut's off because I'm off. It's not the tool, I'm off. Uh, but anyway, he cut just fine. Real thin stock, soft wood, I believe pine. He did just fine. This tool would be perfect for someone who works with this sort of thing, all modeling, projects, whatever. Just use it for the right type of application. So no, I'm not posting a negative review of Harbor Freight or this Drill Master tool. It's a fine tool, decided to keep him. He'll have a place in my shop, I'll use him. He doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Only cost $35. I didn't use a coupon for him. That was on me. I could have got it for him cheaper. Even cheaper. But that's on me. So, here we are. Like I say, this is some of the projects I make. Just right now. This is what I'm on now. I'll move on to something later. And that's some of the tools I use. Uh, just razor saws. Basic hand saws. And uh, they do just fine. But sometimes I want to speed up the task. And I want to get it done. And I want to move on to the next project. So I need uh, electric tools. I'll find something that works, but for now, he's keeping, I'm keeping him, he's gonna be in my shop, and uh, he's a fine tool, so no problems with him. Folks, if you like this, comment, criticize, whatever, but I hope this one will replace the old crappy video I just made. All right, keep on working.